nothing. Under the Obama administration, many FBI agents, the Bureau itself, was insulated to some extent, had insulated the Clintons. And so the investigation didn't proceed forward. Mm -hmm. Now what we're seeing is the Little Rock office reopening that and... I know, and this is an absolute. Uh, this has been absolutely verified. Had interviewed a very significant witness, and they provided very significant information to the Little Rock office. Interesting. Is what, that what? that secret informant? We can't talk about that right now, but I, I can <laughs> okay. tell you that it has been verified. So Sarah, what, can this you is... blink twice if I'm right? <laughs> <laughs> twice You're in the course make of the me blink, Brian. <laughs> All right, so Sarah, this is basically to find out if. Foreign governments or individuals, you know, an individual can give to a campaign. They can only give X amount of dollars, just a small amount. But if they were giving big amounts of money to the Clinton Foundation, and then she was using that money in government to, to pay them off Stuff with promises. Happened. And, yeah, you give my foundation a lot of money. We don't pay taxes on it. And then I will, in, uh, you know, I'll send my husband over to Russia to give a speech or we'll do something for your company or your, your country. Is that what they're looking yeah. at? I think that's exactly what they're looking at. And they're looking at tax status as well, Ainsley. So you brought up a really good point. But remember, at that point in time, Obama wanted to reset with Russia. So it's not like the Clintons... And, and I think this is coming from a number of sources. We're saying, look, we're going to make this happen if you give us money. Right. I think they already knew it was going to happen. And according to the sources that I've spoken with, took advantage of that situation. Oh. So that's something that they're going to be looking at as well. Uh, the meter's running, isn't it? Because doesn't the statute of limitations on most federal felonies end after five years? And she, I, I was just looking it up, and it could be incorrect, but I think she left federal office February 1st, 2013. So February 1st of this year, five years is up, isn't it? Well, five years is up, but that doesn't mean they won't find something else where they can hang that, st extend that statute of limitations. So I, I don't want to jump the gun here by saying right. something, but I do believe that it can be extended, not on what we're thinking, but maybe on something quite different. Sarah, Sounds like let, you know something. Yeah, yeah. It does. Yeah, Sarah, let, let's talk about Hillary Clinton's emails. They're up again. They're evaluating now with Devin Nunes and company in the House. Uh, they're going to evaluate how the FBI handled that investigation. Also, thanks to the FISA Act and Judicial Watch, we now know what, what all those thousands of emails on Uma Abedin's laptop were, eight of which we know for sure were uh, classified. Where are they going with Hillary Clinton's email investigation? Well, they're certainly reevaluating it. I wouldn't say at this point it's being reopened. I would say they're evaluating it to see what they need to do. And Uma Abedin is in really hot water here. I mean, we know that there were a number of classified, highly classified emails. She knew she was transmitting those. She was printing them out. And another, another issue here is that the FBI and, and people within the Bureau believed that foreign agents had infiltrated not only Hillary Clinton's server, but possibly Uma Abedin's email account, Yahoo email account as well. And that's the reason for the gross negligence statute, right? It isn't so much the intent. It's that if you take these emails, these classified documents, anything outside of the purview of government, anybody can access them. And that gross negligence puts the national security of the United States at risk. Yeah. And this is what they're looking at. A lot to talk about. Sarah, mm -hmm. thank you very much for joining us on this Friday. Have a good weekend. Thanks, Sarah. Thank you. All right.